Card number 29. Another hostage. Eugene Hazenoff. Hazenfoss. Eugene Hazenfoss. Hazenfoss. Eugene Hazenfoss. Eugene Hazenfoss. Card number 29, CIA cargo kicker, Eugene Hazen, Hazenfoss. On October 5th, 1986, a C-123 transport plane carrying arms to the Contras was shot down by Sandinista troops. The Reagan administration denied any government role in the flight, but subsequent evidence proved otherwise. Eugene Hazenfoss, the cargo kicker and lone survivor, was found to be a longtime CIA employee as were the two American pilots who died in the crash. All three had previously been employed by Air America, the CIA's airline in Southeast Asia. They were being paid by Robert Secord, Secord number 19. The airplane belonged to Southern Air Transport, a CIA proprietary. The airplanes, the plane's wreckage yielded detailed flight logs. Robert Owens business card, C card number 14, and a yellow Air America operator's manual. The most damaging evidence came from Hazen Foss himself. He told a press conference that his supervisors in the operation, Max Gomez and Ramon Medina, were working for Vice President George Bush, C card 32. Ramon Medina was later identified as Luis Pasada Carriles, a shooter team alum, alumnus, C card 23, and an escapee from a Venezuelan jail where he'd been held in connection with the bombing of a Cuban civilian airline, which resulted in the death of 73 people. Max Gomez is the nom de gure of longtime CIA agent Felix Rodriguez, C card number 30. Eugene Hazenfoss was found guilty of invading Nicaragua, Nicaraguan airspace by a Sandinistas tribunal and then pardoned by Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. After his release, he filed suit against the CIA for damages. <laughs> Oh, the balls on this guy. Eugene Hazenfoss. 